And I grew up in the flat, I was born here, was raised here. Uh, my primary school's across the road. I used to be able to see my classroom from my bedroom window and everyone would be like, Miss, he's late. My family moved and relocated up to like Shooters Hill and then it, we just had tenants in it. When Joe and I met, we moved to East London and we'd kind of been bouncing around renting. I was saving for a deposit. My mum was like, why don't you just buy Deptford off me? We knew immediately that we would need to transform it quite significantly so that we could live how we wanted to live. We wanted to open it out and just make it more pleasing. We needed the house to do certain things. We needed it to calm us down. We needed storage. We needed space to have dinners with friends when we were home. We plastered the whole house as well. That immediately kind of just refreshed it and just gave it a new skin. I've got a feeling of depth and I can just lie in bed and look at the squirrely ceiling and feel like I'm drifting away in a really relaxing and tranquil way. When we started taking wallpaper off, we found a note you'd written on the wall to your sister. Yeah, what was it? What it did was, it say? It was like a threat, I think, but it was, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Uncovering some of the history of the house as well, there used to be a coal cupboard uh, right at the front of the entrance hallway. So we used to have the toilet, which is immediately on your right as you come into the flat. We decided that we would take that away and put the toilet into the main bathroom area. Make it feel a little bit boutique -y. It's quite a small bathroom. Being away and doing loads of trips in really beautiful hotels, there's loads of really small spaces that are gorgeous and we just really wanted to bring some of that into, into the building. Yeah, we definitely thought that size didn't mean that it, didn't, it couldn't be luxurious feeling or feeling special. We have a bench by the front door. It was a storage consideration because we always have suitcases. Yeah. Joe, So I always have fabric with samples with me when I go on my travels and so I come back and throw my bag in there. And I'll come back from a job, the case will go straight into the, into yeah. the bench. And then hopefully it's away and you don't have to think about it. It was really important that the bedroom was simply a bedroom. You know, we tried our hardest to take everything out of there and keep it very peaceful. And I think calming is the sort of overall feeling that we wanted for this flat. Yes, it can be very entertaining and it can be an entertaining space, but ultimately, a lot of people say that when they come in, it like calms them and, and chills them out. We wanted to be able to have multiple conversations in different rooms and not feel like everyone always had to be in the living room. Real house party feeling instead of just being kind of dinner party, you know? It can, there can be like offshoots of different conversations and gossip. It was an active choice to select furniture that can move around and isn't too big and can work in different spaces and really serve you in different ways. We've got a love seat in the, in the middle room and books in there. And we've got the record player. We've got like we've our, got our microphones. Our, our microphones. If we want to sing our hearts out and have a good time with our friends and it becomes just a karaoke room where we can scream and shout and just have a good time on a Saturday. But then if we want to read, we can grab a book and we can go in there, put the record player on and we can have that moment. We have a shelving unit that's in the middle room. My parents run a hotel and we used to keep all the room keys of the guests in there and their invoices. We have our cosmetic stuff in there, like, uh, you know, like face creams and all that. It seems quite indulgent, but I think again, it's just that moment and reminding ourselves, okay, put some cream on your face, put <laughs> yeah. some perfume on, yeah. like do something for you for just like 10 minutes. The karaoke machine, Joe bought that at an auction with his family when he was, with yeah. his mum when he was 17, yeah. I think. Um, it was £2.50 on Nottingham Cattle Market. I never thought of it, but it is quite a nice joining of both of us because my dad was a musician and in the space where we keep the microwave and, and all of our plates and stuff, that used to be the boiling cupboard and he used to cram all of his old records in there. And, I never knew that. Yeah, That's so and um, so now we have the record player in the middle room and it's kind of like yeah. a memory of him and a memory of, of Joe's parents. And I think because the flat it originally was somewhere that I lived. It's, it was really important to have quite a lot of Joe and, and have a presence of his home and him not being from London. The Urkel chair is, is an old one that yeah. his mother gave us. And the ceramic bowl is the fruit oh, yeah. bowl that, he, that Joe used to have in his family home. I think the flat for us was a, a manifestation, I suppose, of, of each other and being together 
and um, because we do spend so much time apart so it's kind of this is our definitely our space for sure. I was very lucky to be offered the opportunity to buy this from my mother and most people wouldn't take advantage of it because of where it is or what it looks like and it just shows you that with anything you can do something and you can enjoy something so small in such a maximal way. The Modern House, selling thoughtfully designed homes across the UK.